uh, the Pano display protocol was developed specifically with zero clients in mind. Uh, believe it or not, protocols like RDP and ICA are, are very heavyweight protocols and require a lot of processing on the client end. And because we are building a device with absolutely no CPU so that it could be a zero managed device, no management whatsoever, we had to develop a protocol uh, that, that, pr that, that worked well in a zero client environment, somewhere where you had a device that didn't have uh, lots of local processing capability. And so the protocol is really designed to work with Windows uh, at a much lower level than RDP and ICA. It's, a, it's an IO level protocol that gives gets Windows to work with the device as if it was local hardware. And so the types of transactions that you see going over the network are a lot more like the types of transactions you see going over a PCI bus um, than on uh, the RDP type of connection, which is really more like high-level drawing commands. Uh, once, you, once you do this, you actually end up with a really, really good user experience because we're loaded right into the kernel. We have direct access to the Windows frame buffer, and we can really pump data over the network and, and deliver that PC experience to the user. The Pano protocol was optimized to deliver a PC type of experience over um, a local LAN switched environment, whereas terminal services protocols like RDP and ICA are really optimized to deliver um, a very, you know, a much more reduced type of user experience over um, um, a small bandwidth link with a high number of users on a server. It's optimized for a different corner of the problem. And so there's some cases where terminal services are appropriate, but when you're taking someone's PC away, you really do need a protocol like Pano's protocol.